And those firefighters in Calabasas probably hoping for uh, some of the some of the moisture that we may be seeing uh, right. or we are going to see uh, over the next 48 right. hours. And, you know, we talked about it on Friday uh, with ha uh, Haley. We actually had a, a fire story and said that we need the rainfall. We're going to get it and mm -hmm. it's going to kind of shut down our fire danger. In fact, we could see up to eight inches max. We could see uh, eight inches. I think the rainfall uh, estimate right here at three to six may be on the low side because the storms that moved through today have already dumped over an inch and a half of rain in just a short period of time and we've got a lot more to go. So that, that number may come up a little bit. Uh, coastal flooding, we'll have some coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding. We will get a little surge, especially once the storm moves north of us and uh, keeps moving north. Our winds will switch around more to a southwesterly direction and that will cause a one to two foot storm surge and that can cause coastal erosion and we can see a lot of problems obviously with uh, the rip currents. Uh, 20 to 40 mile hour winds, that's what we're looking for sustained. That'll be mainly tomorrow midday, continuing through the afternoon and evening. And there's always a threat of tornadoes. Even a threat of tornadoes tonight exists as these bands move through. Although we haven't seen a lot of twist in the atmosphere quite yet. Uh, but once this low starts spinning closer to us, and you can see all the nasty weather to the east of the center, which is right here. Although we are starting to see a pocket of storms developing just off the Yucatan Peninsula. There is a chance for this to strengthen a little bit. We could see winds up to 50 miles an hour uh, by tomorrow evening near the center. Not so much here. Our winds, I said, are going to be 20, 25 miles an hour throughout the morning and maybe pick up at times up to uh, near 40 by the mid afternoon to evening. Right now, top winds are at 40 miles an hour. It's moving to the north at 12, but we're going to see a little break to the northeast. Now, we may see this even shift a little bit further uh, to the south and east uh, with the next forecast run at 11 o'clock, but right now it's trending toward the Big Bend area. And it looks as though uh, it will eventually race off into the Atlantic and it will bring some very heavy rainfall here. And as far as winds go, I mentioned on the low side of the uh, wind spectrum here, you can see that large area in yellow that indicates the tropical storm force winds as they make their way on shore. And that's the reason why not all the counties in our viewing area are under a tropical storm warning at this point. It's just a small portion of the area on into Manatee and Sarasota as well as uh, into Charlotte County just a little bit. Again, flood watch is in effect. Obviously, no flood warnings for our immediate area at this point. Maybe some of the rivers uh, near the Peace River and also the Mayaka could be seeing some pretty, pretty big problems over the upcoming days. More rain is on the way. You can see this moving to the north. There's another line of showers south of that. It continues to push in our direction right now. We saw that with Kate Flexter out there. Some heavy rain already moving into Bradenton, Palmetto and Lakewood Ranch. So the downpours are always typically much heavier with this kind of system. So we'll see that tomorrow. Uh, obviously not a light chop. That was uh, earlier today and uh, yesterday. As far as the seven day forecast goes, we are looking for a 100% chance for rain tonight and tomorrow, continuing into tomorrow night. And then we start to taper off on Tuesday, but still windy. Uh, we're expecting windy weather on Tuesday, looking a little bit better, more typical as we push into the rest of the week.